Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome, welcome on this Wednesday. Well, it's not Wednesday, it's Monday. Monday, 6.30, you are in the bike lane, my friends. I am your host, Tom Ziska, and let me find this little thing right here to click that and say hello. Welcome from the Fox 26 Newsroom on this Monday night. Uh, this is, on this evening, rest day number two of the Tour de France. Uh, if you're a cyclist enthusiast, you know exactly of which I speak. Um, we are two weeks into the three-week race that starts in uh, the front end of July, and then it continues till it ends in Paris on the Champs-Élysées. Uh, 2,100 miles. Starts with 160-some riders. Uh, they don't have that many going anymore. Um, it is a race of attrition and that sort of thing. One of my prized possessions... This is my uh, tour guide from the 2006 Tour de France. Uh, I saw the start of it when my sister lived uh, in France, in Strasbourg, France. And that's where the tour started that particular year. So I went, I got my press credentials, and I got to see stuff that was very, very cool. Um, for most of the 20-ish years that I have known my guest tonight, uh, uh, there has always been a portion of the Tour de France after the race is all done, where you get to relive the race. I would like to bring in Danny Jones, my friend. He's a, I met him as a bike mechanic, uh, but he is also a Houston artist. And uh, among the things he does after every Tour de France is uh, paint a montage of everything that happened in the tour. Danny, how are you tonight? Doing well, Tom. Doing well, thanks. I appreciate you being here. Thanks for taking time. And I think there's a little bit of music that's a little heavy there. So I'll bring that down just a little bit. Yeah, I know. Yeah. So uh, this um, this streaming service uh, has a, a, a bunch of different uh, music options. And this one's called Rock. So yeah. that's that's what we're on right now. Uh, so, so, Danny, let's talk about, as you sit in uh, the room there with uh, some of your paintings in the background, uh, most prominent right there is the Andy Warhol-esque sort of um, Lance Armstrong portraits. Uh, you, uh, you've spent a lot of time considering Lance Armstrong over the years. Yes, I have. And um, when I first started painting him, people were like, why are you painting that? That's never going to last. And here we, here we are still talking about him years later. So uh, something I think that's curved the bike industry and curved the way we look at the Tour de France at this point, too. So, mm -hmm. still yeah. to this day, whether you love him or hate him, um, yes. uh, he's a he's a polarizing part of the conversation when his name pops up. Yes, yeah. Very in much fact, so. uh, I want to toss this up. Uh, these are some of your uh, Lance Armstrong portraits. At least three of these are. Uh, the fourth one in the upper left is uh, is Young Jan Olek, yeah, of the yes. T-Mobile team there. Uh, Powerhouse. So. Uh, what are these paintings? Uh, what do you want us to see in these paintings here of Lance Armstrong and Jan Ulrich? Well, just the the power, the the finesse, and the, the how strong that they are and passionate towards what they're doing. I think that's what we all should be in life as well. So, and, yeah, go ahead. And I'm sorry. Most of, I guess, most of all the paintings that I have, it's it's kind of little hidden things here and there. Because even like the the one there with Lance with his you know power pose, there's if you look close across the back there, you see a date. And it's oh. 2006, I think, or 2003. I don't remember. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of little hidden things here and there that as I progressed on in the work, I started putting things in friends and things that happened along the tour. Mm -hmm. that made notes towards myself and hopefully that would keep everyone else in history as well with. So um, in addition to, uh, to the Lance portraits uh, uh, mm -hmm. closer behind you are some of these montage paintings. And, and here's one here. This is uh, uh, I forget which year this is, but this is a Lance Armstrong victory year here. And this is a variety of things that you saw during the tour. What, what is it? Well, it's it's his win, of course, but it's also stamps the first time the mic was handed to uh, the tour winner. Mm -hmm. And around the outside of the painting there is 
basically what he said. And then just a couple things throughout the tour with him, Cappy on the bottom, the, uh, the rest of the team racing through for, for the, the yellow and racing yeah. for Lance, really. Yeah. Um, I remember that year when, uh, when they handed him the microphone and if at the time it seemed like, what the heck is a this? little awkward, very, yeah. very awkward. Yeah. But it's carried uh, through until present day. So that's good. Yeah. To this day, um, you are, we are still, uh, we are still hearing from, uh, from the winner who gets to say a, a couple of things, whatever those things may be here. Um, and then, uh, this is a close up, um, a detail of this. So, what are we looking at here, uh, Danny? Um, the Texas boy, basically. Uh, and it's actually a, a carving that I have somewhere around this house. It's a, a, a cow skull, which is a necklace that I wear occasionally. Uh -huh. And then you have the, um, the flowers that make the live strong. So you're in the, the, the yep. corner there. The, the old live strong bracelets that so many of us wore. Uh, I wore one for years, quite frankly. I so. still have my original one on, Tom. Do you really? I sure do. Yeah, yeah. Good for you, man. Look at that. Look at that. Uh, you, <laughs> you, you, you are, you are a, a, a true artist. So um, let's see here. I'm, I think I'm taking this out of these. Are, this is. Uh, it's in, that's the same in the same. Is that from the same uh, one? Yeah. Yes, sir. And that also from the same one. And this, uh, we see the team Daniel time trial. Zabris, uh, uh, Zabriskie there. Good old, good old Mr. Zabriskie. Mm -hmm. Loved watching him. All right. So here, uh, here's, uh, here's one uh, kind of a passing of the torch to, to some degree. Yes. Uh, this is the, the Alberto Contador victory. Mm -hmm. And the Radio Shack team with uh, Lance's defeat. Um, and. Mm -hmm. There are a lot. Um, there are a lot of details in this one. Little, little smaller details of 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 the race here. So, what are some of the things that kind of caught your eye? Um, well, it's a lot of things throughout history that happened at that time period. The uh, God, I can't remember his name. The gentleman who did paint by numbers uh, passed away around that same time. And there's in the very left hand corner back is a paint by number. Uh huh. I see it. And yeah. I think in, also that was the year Obama was in office. And then down in the far right-hand corner is a friend of mine that used to work with me, Sergio. And I think you may know him and his son as well. And the, uh, the Fila uh, soccer football was going on. He was really big into it. Amazing man and amazing father and also amazing mechanic. Uh, and he's holding the trophy there. And it, it's one of the things that I injected into the tour paint. Mm -hmm. And it, I think it also went through Spain as well. And that's why I had the Salvador Dali sheet that's up in the four, the uh, mid corner. There uh -huh. in the middle. <laughs> uh, it's uh, this is like a, a, a trip through your mind to some degree. Yes. <laughs> yes. And uh, well, I remember Mason, when he saw that, he goes windmills in the clouds, Danny, what's going on here? And I, it's it's just what it is. Yeah. I mean, just follow it, love it. If you don't like it, walk away from it. There you go. Uh, so uh, going back to the 2006 Tour de France, which uh, again from my um, my my uh, my press booklet here, uh, we have we have this painting, and uh, this is uh, this is a little more dire a painting than uh, than than the the other montage. Yes. Uh, because why? Because I had started the painting and started getting into it, and they snatched the yellow jersey from from Floyd Landis, which changed everything, and I was at a loss for the whole thing. And then also, I was very upset, super upset about mm -hmm. you know that being as what it is. So um, I started thinking of, of paintings of how it used to be renaissance time the paintings were like tvs because of course they didn't have tvs so they had to tell stories people looked at it and they just kind of figured out and they right. made what they were seeing into everyday life and so then i tried to pull all of that in jan Oric and uh basso and everyone else that has fallen at that same time and that's what you see there in the 
right hand corner. Um, also is a tribute to uh, Michelangelo. And then the bicycle rider is also a tribute to Salvador Dali, which is yeah. it follows through in most of all the paintings that I have there as well. And it kind of shows the oh, how would you say the past tour is still part of history and it just kind of mm -hmm. follows through. Gotcha. And of course, uh, that was the year that Floyd Landis, uh, the American, uh, won the Tour de France, <laughs> and then we find out for immediately Greek after time. that he'd been doping, and he was, uh, he right. had his, he raced for the Phonak team, as we see this image there, and he had the uh, yellow jersey taken from him as well. Uh, so, um, more recently, let's go to 2018. This is the mural painting from then. And uh, the winner that year was uh, Garrett Thomas yes. from uh, from the Sky. Well, then Sky, now the Enios team. Yes. Uh, but also notable locally for the uh, guy in the lower left hand corner. Tell me about him. Um, well, he's a local guy that started out at the velodrome here uh, that a lot of people don't know about, but they need to get out there. Uh, my brother actually trained him there for a while. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that. A lot of beautiful things happen there. And he made it to the Tour de France, which is a milestone in life for whomever may do it. Uh, crashed out the first day, but Texas Spirit, he soldiered on. Yeah, Lawson Craddock. Had to be there. Yeah. Lawson Craddock, and I, and I take every opportunity I can to, uh, to pass along uh, uh, the milestones of Lawson. Uh, but yeah, he 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 crashed on the very first day and broke his scapula. If mm. you don't know what the scapula is, it's that big bladey bone at the back of your shoulder, and uh, he cracked it. And he rode the entire uh, Tour de France with a broken scapula, and ra and raised money for the velodrome more than a quarter of a million dollars. Right, which is right there to his right. There's a picture of the velodrome track the, right there. The Alkeg Velodrome, which, yeah. as you note, is where he started riding his bike with his, uh, exactly. with his, with his dad. And uh, and uh, uh, Lawson um, is in the Tour de France again this year. Just under had a different team. Uh, yeah, under a different team. Just had a great outing uh, over over the weekend. Um, did really really well on one of the stages. I'm gonna have to rewatch that. Oh, I've you're going to have to if you uh, haven't yeah. seen it. Yes. So, uh, um, but but this one again, many of the things that happened over uh, over the uh, the 2018 Tour de France, and you yes. see some of the imagery from some of the, your other years kind of recurring. I see the uh, what appears to be a skeleton with a veil on a bicycle. Yes, that's the history of the tour just coming through. Um, you know that. The crybaby, as my wife calls him, that's going for breaking Eddie Merckx's record. It's just the, the tour history, just following <laughs> everything. That's what that symbolizes. Um, then, if, of course, I have different people in there. Uh, Manette, which you had here um, last week or week before, uh, she's in that particular picture as well. Is she really? Mm -hmm. She's oh. one of the protesters that is right there in front of the car there. And it has move yoga on the back of her. Oh, really? Yes. Very nice. Uh, then uh, actually, Kenton Loft is in there as well. And uh, there's a little like hand clap to my mom there on the road that's paying it, that, uh, which just passed away a few years back. But mm -hmm. she's still cherished in my heart. So as we look at these, uh, at these uh, paintings from last year, um, I know you are you are watching this year's tour, although yes. apparently there are some stages you need to rewind and watch again. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Stage stage fifteen. I just uh, it's a great one. Um, okay. Yeah. But I uh, so so what are the, what are some of the things that uh, if if anything has caught your eye that uh, that might make the stuff of uh, of the montage for this year's tour? Well, the the green jersey. Uh, and well, the color change is a big thing to me. And then mm -hmm. the uh, young rider 
white jersey, of course, and right. the yellow jersey, the, the battle that they have there. It's almost uh, like past years, which, you know, most people don't want to talk about the Lance and everybody that he battled throughout because we haven't had that in recent years, except for the last three years. Um, that thing, that's the big one. And, and the mountain stages, I, I, on the edge of my sofa watching the mountain stages, I love it to death. I love, love the descents. It. I love watching them scream down a mountain. Scream down, throw the leg out, and kind of hold on for the turn. Sure, oh. sure. Yeah. So, uh, so the uh, the imagery of uh, the yellow jersey, uh, Jonas Vingigo from Denmark, mm -hmm. and uh, the his closest competitor. Uh, as we go into uh, the the third and final week that starts with a time trial tomorrow, they're separated by just ten seconds. Ten seconds. Yes. Yeah, that's Tadej uh, Pogacar. Tadej Pogacar, yeah, from Slovenia. And uh, it's just one of those great – this is one of those great years where you don't know who's going to win at the you end. kind of got an idea, sort of. The team or – It's going to be one of those two guys. <laughs> of course. course. Buying something dramatic, and I'm, this is me knocking on wood because um, you don't want anything bad to happen to anybody. But uh, but it's it's very likely going to be one of those two guys, but you don't yet know which one. Right, and unless something awful happens, which it won't. But yeah, you know. yeah, we don't want it to. So I think Caddy's going to win this year. I just I have a feeling. It just he seems so strong. Just and it just seems like he's he he loves riding. That's mm -hmm. the thing that gets me. He's what we all want to just go out and compete just to ride to ride he just has it i mean mm -hmm. you know I, I know people at the shop are probably screaming when they hear this like danny you're stupid that's not uh, but uh, that's what it is I know, that's I how it. And, and i see that yeah. so how long do these projects typically take i mean i know you don't say well i gotta have it done by friday or anything like that but but right. but how long a process is it to to kind of visualize how this all kind of fits together in your head and then out onto a painting? Well, um, actually, Tom, from day one, um, while I'm watching, I take the sketchbook out and I start sketching little things and, and just watch and I'll write stuff down and then kind of go back and then try to see how it, it'll piece together mm -hmm. and change things. That's like with the Floyd Landis thing where I just whited everything out that I put on and just started all over. Um, it's generally, I'd say probably 30 to 45 days ish afterwards, maybe sometimes longer, depending mm -hmm. on how much detail I'm putting in it and how, what I'm trying to come across. And then I get ideas and things from other people say like sitting here talking to you, you say something about, Oh, you got to watch stage 15 and I go back in and watch it and I'll pick up a little something else that is going to be added to it as it goes. Mm -hmm. Two months it, at the max. Okay. Is it a is it a cathartic process for you? Mm, sometimes I'm 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 sit, I'm sweating. Sometimes I'm in yeah. there and I, I hear Rebecca, "Babe, it's time for bed." You know, but it is. <laughs> you know, you, it, it's a it. This is a love. She turns into the Tour de France widow around this uh -huh. time. I am stuck in front of the TV most times and re-watching things and looking and seeing just the odd things like, um, which I see every year, a dog that runs out. Yeah. This year, a deer ran across right in front of the Peloton. So oh, that's probably that. going to be put in there somewhere. Um, just little things, just to kind of like make it like, oh, I remember that. Oh, I, that's, oh, yes. And, yeah. You know, well, you are two thirds through your uh, through your research project at this point, and then you can start uh, putting those uh, those thoughts to uh, to canvas. And I've already forward. kind of started. The sketches I, have started. I've uh, laid out just a little bit, yeah. and I, I'll be uh, popped in there too again this year. So, well, I look forward to seeing uh, it when it is finally done. Uh, but maybe uh, you you might be. Yikes. <laughs> honored, honored, and scared all at the same time, my friend. No, Tom, please. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Danny, I'm going to let you. Uh, I know you've had a long day, and I appreciate you taking time and sharing your uh, your painting. Um, ah, ah, that is the uh, the Tour de France lion. Is that an actual Tour de France lion? Yes, it is. Nice. Look Whoop. at that.
It's not just a lion's rear end. That's a yeah. <laughs> the whole thing. It's the whole thing. The See? whole thing. See, we 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 each have our mementos. Yes, I think France. that's from the same year too. Yeah. No, the year before. So I also have, I also have my Tour de France mug here. It holds pens on my desk. Now you're showing off, Tom. Yeah, I, I am. Sad on me. Uh, Danny, <laughs> thanks very much. I appreciate you, and uh, and I will see you face to face sometime soon. Thank you, Tom. This has All been right. a pleasure. I loved it. Thank um, you. Thank you. I appreciate you joining me on the bike lane. Until next time. we Will do, my friend. Thank you. Take care. Thank you. And that's it, my friends. That is the bike lane on a Monday night for this week. Uh, if you haven't seen the Tour de France, I encourage you to give it a go. If you see it pop up on your uh, your timeline on whatever way you watch TV, it is really something to behold. Um, and I will certainly be watching there as well. If you've got any ideas on things you'd like me to talk about, about uh, two by, two wheels, three wheels, any way you pedal from point A to point B, it's got a place and it's got a home right here on the bike lane. I look forward to hearing from you. All of my information scrolling there, right there on the bottom of the screen. You should be able to find me pretty darn easily here in the Fox 26 newsroom. Until next week when we uh, hit the bike lane together again, my friends. My name's Tom. I'll see you out on the road. Bye-bye.